beside me, standing in all black with them shields on on post, watching, they all my friends. Gold is precious, but loyalty is price. Huh, I want a man, I leave you like Bro. Hey, let me ask you guys a question. You guys look like you believe in Jesus. Yeah, believe in Jesus. Yeah. Let me ask you, let me ask you, what, 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 what question about Jesus? Did, did Jesus die for everybody? Yes. Let me ask, oh, let me, let me get Acts 5 and 30. I want to read this scripture for you. Because, right. come here, come here, you can close We're not going to bite you. We're not going to bite you, man. Give me a round of applause, man. By the way, where are you from? You Puerto Rican? You like, where are you from? Minnesota. From Minnesota? You don't have no Hispanic uh, uh, background? Swedish. Oh, Swedish, background. okay. So, a lot of people do believe what you just said, right? A lot of people believe Christ came and died for everybody. But a lot of people don't read the scriptures. They go off emotions and what they're taught. Regurgitated doctrine. Give me for Acts 5 and 30. Let's read something in the scriptures. The book of Acts, the 5 and verse 30. Go ahead. To God, the God of our fathers, uh -huh. raised up Jesus. Raised up Jesus. Who ye slew. Okay. And hanged on the tree. Go ahead. Him have God exalted. Go ahead. With his right hand. Go ahead. To be a prince. To be a what? To, to be, be a, a prince. prince. To be a prince. You agree, right? Read. And a savior. And a savior to your knowledge for everybody, right? Go ahead. What to give repentance. And when you pray and ask for forgiveness for everybody, right? Go ahead. Repentance uh, to Israel. To who? To, to Israel. Israel. To everybody. To, to Israel. 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 The world. To, to Israel. Israel. To every race. To, to Israel. Israel. All boys and girls. To, to Israel. 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 It was only for the Israelites, but you said it was for everybody. Should we go with what you said or what the Bible said? The Bible says. The Bible says. So God, so Christ didn't come to die for everybody. He didn't come to give permission of sin for everybody. It was only for the Israelites. Now, you seem like you're a knowledgeable person, right? You seem like a knowledgeable person. Does God does God love everybody? That's what the Bible says. All right, let me get Romans 9, 13 real quick. And notice, we stand in Paul's letters, right? A lot of Christians, where do they go? To Paul's letters. They say the Old Testament is done away with disregarding. We believe in both old and new. But we're going to make a point. A lot of things that we're, that we're, that we're hearing out here in these churches, in these religious and TV, TV and news, is not what's in the Bible. Christ only loved one people. God only loved one people. It's not in the Bible that he loves everything and everyone. Nobody loves everything and everyone. And we were made after God's image. Go ahead. The book of Romans chapter 9 and 13. I'm going to leave you with this too. Go ahead. You're not as it is written. As it is written in the Bible. Go ahead. Jacob have I loved. God said he loved Jacob, the Israelites, which is the blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans on this side. They're the bloodline descendants of the Israelites. God said he loved them, but what? But Esau, but who? But Esau, but Esau. But Esau. You're the, your ancestors, you say you're Swedish, right? Yeah. Your ancestors descend from Edom. The Romans descend from Edom. Greeks descend from Edom. White Americans descend from Edom. So-called Caucasians of, of that lineage, they descend from Edom. Let's see what God say about them. Brian? But Esau, have I hated. What did God say? But, but Esau, Esau, have I hated. What did the Lord say? But Esau, Esau have, have I hated. According to the Bible, God hates your, 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 your nation of people. So God cannot love everybody because God hates the people. So I wanted to leave you with that according to the Bible. You're Edom and God hates you. And he loves the Israelites only. What? I want to leave you that. Have a blessed night. Thanks. All praises be to the most high God. All praises be to the most high. Because we got to tell the nations their judgment too. Right. If we don't tell Esau the, 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 the old covenant of his destruction, who will give it to him? If we don't tell him God hates his guts, who will? What's going on, King? Give us one minute. We're here for you. Get, all right, come take a flyer. Just take a flyer. Just take a flyer and you can go. Oh, for real? I you guys. Oh, oh, praises, brother. Yeah, I went to a school with one of you guys from, um, I don't know, what's your, from Boyne Beach High School. So uh -huh. I met you guys from. Um, what, what, what's your background? Are you Trinidadian or? I'm so I'm Haitian. Why is here? I'm here. Right, let's get to check this out, okay? But, but I'm with Woods. So I don't fuck with them white people. I don't know I'm the king. Listen, why? Let's get the priest right on my hand. Come on, come on. Yo, what's your name? I'm here. I don't know where I come from, who I am. You are a God, but the most I got born here, I never think that anything will believe you, bro. Right. Trust me, bro. That's why I'm who I am today. Uh -huh. I work hard. I do not. I might smoke a little weed. I do not illegal. Mm -hmm. Drink. Like it's Friday night. I'm here. I gotta have fun and shit. So I'm but I, I understand you wanna but, have fun, brother. But you gotta have fun and not break the commandments of God, right? Let me let me, let me get like. Look, look, look. Get I'm, I'm not gonna. Or you gotta go. You gotta go. No, I'm not gonna go. But I'm not gonna yeah. stop you. Go ahead. I do the best that I can to be a better person. Like you see, before I came here, you know what the fuck I was doing? Was doing. Shit, I could have been here like 45 minutes ago. There's a new lady that just moved in. Um, my apartment, and then I sold her with a UL truck. I take my time and help her out.
move all the that's every right. You should be doing that. That's, that's what I said. You feel me? That's God word. put me here to help everybody. Uh -huh. and even like not even with my fucking strength, just my brand, uh -huh. my financial and everything. I do that. That's but, why I say I'm blessed. Let bro. me tell you something, right? God you should already know. So much shit, people are very great people, right? Yeah. But in the Bible, they have a big, big job God gave them. Now you did what you did was I love it. Because you should be doing that. We should be doing that. But you have a job, has a soul quotation that God gave you that you need to start doing, brother. It's not just knowing, but you have a job. Malachi 2 and 7. I'm going to leave you with this one verse. When you get a chance, look into that flyer, brother. You're an Israelite from a tribe of Levi. You are a mighty priest of God just like myself, brother. That's right. That's right. Malachi 2 and 7, right before Matthew. Well, you don't have to tell me that. I don't All praises. That, That's good. I, I got to let you know again. Uh-huh. You got it? People think, people think they think it's evidence of me, like I'm suffering everything, uh -huh. but I deep down, I'm just going to have an eye, bro. I'm just blessing you. Uh -huh. You but just don't know that. Let me get the scripture. Of course we bless you. You bless me with your time. Bro, and I'm going to bless you I with bless the instruction of God. Day. That's what I do, bro. People All think praises. like, they like get over me and follow like two, two hundred. Look, look. I'm breathing. I'm a man. I'm 29 years old. Uh -huh. I'm supposed to get up every day, go make money and make money to take care of my family if uh -huh. i help two or two people out day if you think you get over me mm -hmm. that's on you mm -hmm. but deep down i pray twice a day to the uh -huh. god that i believe in bro i'm black i may shame i don't pray to the white fucking guy i just pray i say god i'm your son watch over me uh -huh. like i don't need nothing from you but but keep me alive in right, my right. health bro. you don't need nothing from god but god has a requirement from you though read that scripture read that. this is the book of malachi Chapter 2 and verse 7 in the GNT. Read. It is the duty of the priest. Of the who? Of, of the, the priest. Of the who? Of, of the, the priest. priest. The what? Of, of the, the priest. priest. It's your job as a priest. Read. To teach the to true knowledge. To, to teach. teach. Uh huh. The true knowledge. The what? The, the true, true knowledge. knowledge. The who? The, the true, true knowledge. knowledge. It's your job as a priest of God to teach the true knowledge of what? Of God. Of what? Of, of God. God. Go ahead. People should go to them. People should go to night. us, Read. Yeah. To learn the will. To learn his what? To learn my will. Read. Because they are the messengers of the Lord so Almighty. People should be going so to you brother, bro, to learn the law, statute, you, commandments, man. I just walk in. How you doing? I'm with us in John. You're like good people, bro. Don't let. I'm already going out know. here in the Word of God. I'm like, okay. God. Okay, so see, okay, I'll praise this. Get the brother round of applause. Get the prince round of applause. We good people. Like, like, good people bro. So you, have, have you ever seen this before, brother? To them for five Hell minutes. nah, but nigga, definitely respect what y'all got going on. Y'all keep that shit up, bro. Oh, oh, I'll praise this, man. A lot of people need to hear this shit, bro. Oh, friends, like people want to live, have like live a life. Instead of live yeah, that you spiritual got time, way. You got two yeah. minutes, kid? Oh, y'all together? Y'all came together? Well, God said, no, I don't know God. him, but just, you know, no. We, we all family, right? We, we all, some right. kids, bro. Huh. We kids, bro. So what we come out to do is teach so-called black, Hispanic, and Native Americans, right? Where's your, where's your people at in this chart? Where do you see yourself at in this chart? Are you talking about Haitian, black American, Native American? What's your people? Bahamian. Your dad is Bahamian? No, my dad. I really don't know who my dad is, okay. but I know my mama named us all up. His mom named us all up in Africa. Mm -hmm. My name is Okay, so to your knowledge, is he is he like a, a black American? Yeah. Okay, you're being Israelite from the tribe of Judah, so we come out to teach our people right. their true identity because we don't know who we are. Yeah. Right. We keep saying we're black. Islamic and right. Shit. Yeah. We, 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 we we adopted Islam. We adopted Christianity. We yeah. adopted Catholicism. But all these things go back to white people, Arabs. All the things we follow go back to these other races of people. We don't know who we are as a people, and we come out here to teach our people who they are and how to take this, how to take this thing over. Cause white right. people, we keep running to them like dogs, man. We teaching our people how to take that power back, right. and it's coming back to the Lord. Let me get Deuteronomy twenty-eight and one real quick. We get Deuteronomy twenty-eight and one, and it, I we respect that you stop by, cause you gotta get the pushing. You guys seen this couple bad shorties out. You guys, you know, to, you probably, man. you probably, you probably, you probably went to go we'll talk you know, to a shorty. You know, you know who first? We already know the Most High for it. You know us first, right? Forget all this shit out here, forget all this flashy shit, all these good looking females. We all good looking people out here, but like, they too most, high. Like the most high first. Exactly. You know I mean? And that's why we respect you stopping by. Go ahead. The book of Deuteronomy, chapter 28, and verse 1. So in chapter 28, Deuteronomy, God is talking to his people. What would happen to them if they listen to him? And what, would, and what type of lives they would live if they don't listen to him? Go ahead. And it shall come to pass, Go ahead. if that shall hearken, hearken diligently, Unto the voice of the Lord thy God Go to observe and to do all his commandments. So God said if we listened to him and kept his commandments, all the people you see right here, Haitians, Jamaicans, Hispanics, Native Americans, if we listen to him, go ahead. 
which I commanded thee this day, Go ahead. that the Lord thy God will set thee on high above. He will do what? Will, will set, set thee on high, high above. above. The Lord said he will put us up here. If we listen to him, we'll be up here. Go ahead. Above all nations. Above who? Above, above all, all nations. nations. So better than white people. Above, above all nations. nations. Better than Chinese people. Above, above all, all nations. nations. Better than Arabs. Above, above all, all nations. Better than indigenous Africans. Above, above all, all nations. nations. God said, if we listen to I him. I feel like that. Bro. What's, your, what's your nickname or name, brother? Chinese Nick or I nickname? Swift. Swift, right? I don't feel you like that. You see this building? Bro. You own this building and you pass it on to add generational wealth to your people, to your children. Right. If we listen to God. You see this brother right here? I feel like He will own this whole thing if you listen to God. When you look at our people, do we own everything? No. Do we own the banks? No. Do we own the supermarkets? No. Do we own the planes, the ships, the record labels? We gotta put our heads together, though. We don't know how to put our heads together. That's what we gotta do, bro. That's my so big up. So God said, if we listen to him, I we'll be up here. You but we're not up here, right? Again. So we down here. That's what he said. I'm Verse just gonna 15. help my people. But just, Verse, Verse 15. Go ahead. But it shall come to pass, Go ahead. if that would not hearken uh -huh. unto the voice of the Lord thy God, Go ahead. to observe to do all his commandments Go ahead. and his statutes, Go ahead. which I commanded thee this day, Go ahead. that all these curses. All these what? All these curses. All these who? All, All these, these curses. curses. All these what? All, All these curses. curses. So God said, if we didn't listen to him, we put curses. Read. Shall come upon you. Upon us. Is curses a good thing or a bad thing? When you get cursed, that's, is that a good thing? It's a bad thing. It's a bad thing. So God said, if we don't listen to him, curses are going to happen to us. Let's look at some of the curses that only happen to us. When we look at the world for our daddies at the crib, yeah. our people hate each other. When I look at you, I don't see my brother. Like, hey, bro, not it's all. Let me not even, let me not even mess with you. All right? And you might look at me the same, bro. I ain't going to lie. I, we probably finesse bar in the parking lot. That's how we deal with each other, but it's not supposed to be like that. If I see you got a business, I'm supposed to support my brother. If I see one of these crackers slide up on you, you're supposed to put everything down and we're supposed to go help you. Right. That's how we're supposed to be. But it's not like that for a reason. Drop down to verse 47. Verse 47. Verse 47. Go ahead. Because thou servest not the Lord. Why did it happen? Because thou servest not, not the Lord. Lord. Because we didn't serve God, read. The Lord thy God go ahead. with joyfulness. Because we wasn't happy to serve the Lord. Christians say you can't drink, you can't drink. You just can't be no drunk and you stripping out here, wilding out, you understand? You could go out and enjoy yourself, you just can't sin. You understand? Go ahead. And with gladness uh -huh. of heart, uh -huh. for the abundance of all things. Read. Therefore, uh -huh. therefore, uh -huh. shalt thou serve thy enemy. So the Lord said it, because we didn't want to serve him, we're going to serve people that hate us, that call us nigga on TV, that gun us down in the streets, that put drugs on our communities. There's that, you know that guy, um, Jonathan Majors? That man was making movie after movie after movie after movie hits. What did they just do to the man? I'm saying he got into domestic violence, he beating women. Oh, and they took the man that was yeah. on the street. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Okay, and, okay. And they, they took, yeah. They took, they took, they took okay. everything from the man. I'm knowing. But the man is doing hits after hits after uh -huh. hits after features, man. That's not only him. So when we're the, 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 the other guy that was trying to make the Haitian movie about Tucson Leventi. Uh huh. And you don't know, remember how this. Because they, when we, we did a resolution. Because in the jungle, right. they, like, if we us black people, then put jungle out there make him like one of the top black movies uh -huh. jungle would not be shit because right. they were trying to say like he had be zooming they do the same shit uh -huh. with him too bro they, they make they, they know, they know we defeated them but they want that God, bro. so god said if we didn't listen to him we would serve our God. enemies this would happen to us this would happen to our people if we didn't serve us when we look at look, when we go to school we're like oh yeah we were slaves the crackers got us no it's because we disobeyed the lord that's why that happened read Verse 28, verse 48. What? Therefore, thou shalt serve serve thine enemy, what? which the Lord the Lord shall send against thee. What? And hunger. And what? And, and hunger. hunger. And who? And, and hunger. hunger. And in thirst. When we hungry, and when we thirsty, we buy food and water and drinks. Who do we go to? We're, we're God, 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 God. I don't go to nobody, God. I just put on my well, name. But like, listen, when you live in this lifestyle, you you won't even you be so sidetracked, dog. Well, I walk, though. I, look, no, no, I, I, I never been to tell I walk. Hear me out, hear me out, go. That's what I say. Hear me out, hear me out, hear me out, please. Hear me out, hear me out. Hear me out, hear me out. Hear me out, hear me out, hear me out. Listen to this, listen to this real quick. God said you're going to have to go to your enemies for food and water. When we go to Walmart, who owns Walmart? White people. Wendy's, McDonald's. Checkers, Olive Garden. Who owns this whole stretch? The crackers. The crackers. I do know why you come what, God, give me one second. what did God just say? Give me one second. Give me one second. What did God just say? You would have to go to your enemies for food and water. Read. Therefore, thou shalt serve thine enemies, uh -huh. which the Lord shall send thee against thee go ahead. in hunger uh -huh. and in thirst right. and in nakedness. Uh -huh. So when we want to buy our clothes, when we want to buy our clothes like Nike, Gucci, Louis, Prada, Versace, who do we go to? 
we go to the, soul. We, we go to them. They own that. We go to them. We kill each other to go buy from them. The Lord said that would happen to his chosen people. Go ahead. And in one of all things, and he shall put a yoke of iron. What did the God say? And he shall put a yoke of iron. Brother, you listen swift. You listening? He should put a what? A yoke of iron. He should put a what? A yoke of iron. He should put a yoke of iron, right? Read. Until he have destroyed thee. Upon thy neck. God said this would happen to his people. Now, if this happened to God's people, and this happened to us, what would that make us? Wouldn't. That would make us God's people Because this happens to God's people Brother, you're an Israelite from the tribe of Judah Brother, you're an Israelite from the tribe of Levi These people was able to do this to us Because we disobeyed God When you look at who's fast, who's fast is us Stronger, smarter, more cunning, more eloquent It's our people They did this to us Because we broke God's commandments That's why the Lord allowed them to Because imagine These people are not fast enough How the hell they, they caught us They can't stand in the paint with us in the faith How they did it, how they did it God had to be with them because we turned our backs against them. They don't respect us so much. This woman don't have no shame. She's in front of 10 men that could take down my father him. Easy. And just put that smoke in your face. That shows a level of demonic spirit that these people have and lack of respect for us, man. That happened because God did that to us because we just obeyed his commandments. And the only way for us to reverse it, let's get it. Let's get Deuteronomy 30 and, 30 and 7. The only way to reverse this is to come back. Matter of fact, start from verse 1. The only way to reverse this, brother, is to come back and keep commandments. Because you think, if we're God's chosen people, you think you won't have us suffering forever? You won't have us in the gutter forever? You think, straight forever? Yeah, we're going to be straight forever. But we got to do something he needs us to do first. Because it's not fair that, historically, these people raped, robbed, and murdered the most people on the face of the earth. Killed everybody, lied to everybody. But somehow, they get to walk in hoochie daddy shorts in this strip and relax. That don't make no sense. God is not just, is not unjust. God is just. He believes in justice, man. Read. We can do it to the 30 and verse 1. Let me get this prophecy for you. Go ahead. And it shall come to pass. Go ahead. When all these things are come upon thee. Because God prophesies one day when we when we realize, okay, why my daddy not in the crib? Bro, why, why I always gotta look over my shoulder and this pressure with my own people, man. Right. Read. The blessing uh -huh. and the curse. Go ahead. Which I set before thee. Go ahead. And thou shalt call them to mind. God said we're gonna. Yo, why this happened? Ain't okay. It's not a coincidence. Ain't no yeah. reason why this should be happening. Because this, this ain't for a reason. What, what this, what God said right here is happening right now. It's coming to your mind right now. Now you're learning why. Go ahead. And that should come to mind. Go ahead. Among all the nations, uh -huh. whether the Lord, that God, have driven thee. Read. And shall return unto the Lord that God. And what do we gotta do? And shall return, return unto the Lord, Lord that God. God. And what do we gotta do? Shall, shall return, return unto the Lord, Lord that God. God. We return. We come back. Keep those commandments. Read. And shall obey uh -huh. his voice Go according Go ahead. to all that and to all that I command thee Go ahead. this day. So if we come back keep the commandments, this is what he's gonna do now. Verse 7. Verse 7. So we gotta come back. First we gotta know, okay, it's not a coincidence. Next we come back keep his commandments. Third, God is gonna do his part now. Once we do our part, it's a wrap. It's a wrap. You're never gonna hear children of black and Hispanic children going missing. You're never gonna hear our people begging for stimulus checks. You're never right. gonna hear our people suffering because we gotta go to school and we gotta pay, we gotta work like 50 hours a week to help our moms pay the bills. We're never gonna hear, yo, uh, I don't know who my daddy is. You're never gonna hear black men ain't ish. You're never gonna hear white, uh, black women ain't ish. You're but never you gonna hear that no more. Yeah, you're right. But we got a lot of, a lot of our folks. They, they worship in both sides. They 50-50 with this shit. They 50-50, but I'm gonna, show you, I'm gonna show you what God gonna do to them too. Read that for me. Let me get, um, um, Proverbs 21 11. Go ahead. Verse 7. Go ahead. And the Lord thy God uh -huh. will put all the, these curses. God will do what? Put all, all these, these curses. He's going to put what? Put all, all these, these curses. curses. Read. Upon thine enemies. So God is going to reverse everything he put on us and put it on them. That's right. They like putting people in slavery. According to the Bible, they're going to go to slavery. That's right. They like killing people's daddies. God is going to do that to them. Hey, they put hey. drugs on our communities. The Lord is going to do that to them. They put us on the bottom. God is going to put us on the top. They're going to be on the bottom. He's told my sh car right he gonna, now. Exactly. He's going to put our foot on our... You heard of Golden Boy Count Up? How Golden Boy be like, my he's going to put his foot? That's what the Lord is going to do to them. He's going to put his foot on their necks. He's going to let us put our foot on their necks. Read that for me. I want to read that scripture for you. Uh, Proverbs 21 and 21 and 11. Believe that. Proverbs 21 and 11. I'm telling you that. Because we do have things amongst our people. We can't have a revolution and we're trying to save black and Hispanic people, but we got some people trying to save white people. You can't, right. you can't choose both. One person got to be on the top, one person got to be in the bottom. Right. Ain't no 50 50 with the Lord, ain't no two ways with the Lord. You Bring it out! You lay down, and that's it. Because I can't say I love you and I love the white man. The white man hates you. 
that don't make no sense. It's either I'm gonna love you and protect you, or I'm gonna love him and protect him. And I'm gonna choose you at the end of the day, because you're my people. Right. Mr. Right. Book of Proverbs, chapter 21 and verse 11. Go ahead. Where the marker is punished. No, 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 read in the KJV. I'm gonna get his scripture so you can, so you can hit it, all right? Let me hit it, guys. All right, come on. Get that in the KJV, Proverbs 21 and 11. This book of Proverbs, chapter 21, verse 11, in the what? KJV. What? When a schooner is punished. Oh, the wicked should not go unpunished. Uh, 11, Ele 11 21. Yeah. Like it's like it. Wrong scripture. Proverbs 11 21. Go out. You got it? This is the book of Proverbs, chapter 11, verse 21. Go ahead. Throw hand, join in hand. What did the Bible say? Throw hand, join in hand. Oh, what about the white people? No hand, hand joining hand. They can't come along. No hand, hand joining hand. Let's forgive them. No hand, hand joining hand. The wicked. The what? The, the wicked. wicked. The, who? the wicked. The wicked. So what? Shall not be unpunished. They're gonna be punished right along with them. If you want to love white people and they just did this to your people and they still do it to your people, you gotta go. You gotta go because you're not going for the most high. You're not for your people because they understand that they they will choose themselves. All day, every day. Right. All day, every day. Let's ask him a question. Let me ask you a question. Yes, sir. Would you rather live in the world where white people rule the world and make the rules and govern this earth, or would you choose a world where black and Hispanic people run and rule the world and you got to be under them? Yeah, I don't think it matters. You got to pick one or the other. I mean, it's already the white. So you would you rather you would choose white, right? I mean, I don't. There's nothing wrong with it. No, I, don't no, judge you. I don't know no, how like, the other one is. So, would you choose a world I where really white see. people rule the earth? And everybody's under you and have to go to you as but, servants. Or would you choose a world I where would. black and Hispanic people is on top and you got to go to them and you're their servants? Choose one. Which one would you choose? I don't know how to. See? The yeah. devil the Bible speak of. Because he know, I know I would choose my people and they would choose their own yeah. at the end of the day. Sure. Let the devil Bible speak of, man. And that's how you know these people don't got no truth in them, brother. Out to the angels everywhere upon many men that deserve your mercy, but I don't deserve your mercy again. No.